Hey kids, it's a bit of a fly here, hope you're well. And welcome back onto the mighty Honda Goldwing. Today I'm out and about on my uh, 2022 GL1800 Goldwing Tour with DCT model. A bike that uh, I've had for, it's coming up to a year now. And prior to this one, I had a 2018 model Goldwing for a couple of years as well. So I think I know this current version of the Goldwing pretty well. And in this video, I want to tell you some of the downsides of the Goldwing. Okay, so don't get me wrong, I am an unashamed fanboy of the Honda Goldwing. I absolutely love the bike. I think for two up transcontinental long distance touring, there is no better bike on the planet for it. However, there are three things that really get on my goat about the bike. So the first thing that jars me off about the uh, current Goldwing is that it's constantly misunderstood by other people. Many people say, you don't want a Goldwing, they're just too big and heavy. You need a car instead, or that thing is a two-wheel car, it's not really a motorcycle. Now that is such a shame, because these people are absolutely missing the point. There is no denying it is a massive bike and it is heavy. But it's the it's weight and its size that makes it such a comfortable transcontinental tourer. And uh, Honda have thought these things through as well and made it easy for us by adding that amazing forward and reverse creep mode. So actually, it makes it very easy to live with. In terms of moving the bike around, it's quite straightforward and not a problem. And people say, you know, it's not a bike, it's a car. They're entirely missing the point. Of course it's a bike. You get all the thrill and excitement of riding in two wheels. I mean, the thing just handles down here. It's just a brilliant motorcycle. But because of the bike it is, it just does it in supreme comfort and grace. So it gives you all the thrills and spills of any other motorcycle, but just in a very comfortable and refined way. The sort of people that uh, say that about the bike, I often find are those that have never actually ridden one. And those that do, are often converted very quickly. The second thing I hate about the Goldwing is the stigma that seems to go with owning one of these. Now, I used to fall foul of this problem too. Uh, I used to think of Goldwing owners as like fat Americans wearing leathers and tassels, pulling trailers with aerials on the back of their bike, that sort of thing. Completely um, stereotype image. And uh, there may be there's still some of that, but once uh, you know this bike came out, I think everything changed. This 2018 bike is a very different bike to what came before. Those pre-2018 machines, I still regard as somewhat lardy, uh, not very desirable machines. This is a completely different kettle of fish. Having said that, I think the stigma is still there. When I tell people that I'm a Goldwing owner, I can kind of sense their eyes glazing over and them thinking, oh my goodness me, he's not a real biker. I don't know why we do this in this country. We stigmatise various bikes, don't we? Things like Harley Davidson's, Goldwing's, that sort of thing. Uh, it's very, very odd. Um, I'm kind of used to it because I'm also a GS rider of course. So the third thing I hate about the Honda Goldwing is just how long it took me to come to appreciate this bike. It took me all of about a hundred yards of riding one before I thought to myself do you know what this is one of the best bikes I've ridden. In fact it might be the best bike I've ever ridden. For the purpose for which it was designed to up touring in ultimate comfort and luxury there is no better bike I'm absolutely sure and uh, it took me many years of having that stigma and having that kind of gold wing hate until I uh, became an instant convert. And let me warn you, if you do have a test ride on one of these, you'll probably come an instant convert too. You can still see my video actually on YouTube where I first rode one of these. I think it was back in around about 2018 when the new model came out. I, uh, within as I say about 100 yards, I became a convert of the mark and I've been a, a fanboy ever since. And uh, pretty much everyone that I know that uh, that rides these, the same thing happens to them. So, uh, so beware. So there we go. That's three things that uh, I don't like about the Honda Goldwing. I know it's a bit of a silly um, video this time. A little bit negative, a little bit clickbaity. I get all that, but I kind of just wanted to get these things off my chest. They're nothing serious, really. It's mainly all about what other people think about the bike, isn't it? Not what uh, what you yourself think. And uh, I'm at that age now, I'm in my 50s, where I really don't give a monkey's what other people think. So I really love the bike. I'm gonna to continue to enjoy it, regardless of what others think. All right, that's it for this time. Hope you enjoyed that. Look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Mist and Fly. Cheerio.
bike. What a bike.